This is the Ashley stopper knot, a true knot in the, in the form of the word. Now, some, some, some things are knots that people call knots, but they're actually bends or, you know, basic knots or loops or whatever. This is an actual knot here. And if we look down here, you'll see that I have my big, thick rope. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take and make an overhand knot, but it's going to be an overhand knot with a big, bulky core so it doesn't slip or slide through. And you can use this as an actual knot for carrying things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, I'm going to pull a little bit of length on it here, and I'm going to create an overhand knot. Then I'm going to take my working end and then just run it right back through. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this knot up. There you go. You can see I just got a regular overhand knot with a loop here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my working end and see where this line is here. We don't want to pull it over these two sections here. We want to pull it right over this line here, this line back through like this, and pull our length. And there we go. We got a nice fat Ashley stopper knot. Now this knot, unlike an overhand bend or a figure of eight, will not slide out when a lot of weight is applied to it. You can use this for anything in which you need a stopper knot. You know, if you want to carry a jug, slide a jug through down here and grab it and pack something heavy, this will definitely be your knot of choice.